guys i gotta do one more video i said i was gonna end it but i gotta read this to you uh, i'm gonna put quotes at the end of 13 on revelations 5 and 1 ephesians 2 and 21 and second colossians 19 through 23 now i'm going to read to you first titus and then i'm going to go back to colossians and then we're going to end this for the day quickly the divine order of the local churches now i'm going to tell you this quick back in matthew that's when the first church was started i'm reading to you the book of the gospels the gospels is the preaching of the good news and so I'm starting back here in Matthew. This is when they started creating the church, the ordinances of the church. So here it is. It says the divine order of the local churches. I told you to start out with six through nine. I believe that I was looking for. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly. For a bishop must be blameless as the steward of church, uh, not self-willed, not soon angry not given to wine uh you know not a drunkard no striker don't hit anybody not given to filthy liquor look or whatever that is i don't know what that means but a lover of hospitality a lover of good men sober just holy temperate holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught that he may be able uh, by sound doctrine, both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, specifically they of the circumcision. So people that are preaching uh, the word of God, they're always, there may be somebody that's not right. But he said in order to have a, a ministry, this is what you need to do. Now, I'm going to go back to the part where I was telling you about um some 50, some 100, and some 30-fold, like when you keep receiving the seed of God. This is uh, Colossians, 2 Colossians 19. It says, And not withholding the head, from which all the body, by joints and hands, having nourishment, ministered, and knit together, increaseth with the increase of God. Wherefore, if ye be dead with Christ, from the rudiments of the world, why, as though living in the world, are ye subject to ordinances? And then it says, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's so scary. I don't know what that is. It says right here, it says, touch not, taste not, handle not, which all are to perish with the using after the commandments and doctrine of men the using of men, which things have indeed a shoe of wisdom in will, in will, worship and humanity and neglecting of the body, not any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. So it's kind of choppy, the reading, but what it's saying is touch not the ways of the world. You know what I'm saying? Don't give yourself to vain endeavors. If you're trying to follow Christ, touch not those things. You don't have to be a minister or a preacher, but it says in order for you to increase 30, 50, and 100 fold in your life, because the Lord is about increasing in your life, touch not, handle not, don't tamper around with things that of, of the devil. Don't touch around with it. You know what I'm saying? All things are good. You know, God say anything here that we have ability of, but don't get in the mix of those things. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't get in the mix of that. That's that's all that's all that's about. And that's uh 2 Colossians 19 through 23. You know what I'm saying? You have the ability to enjoy your life just as anybody else. But don't get addicted to nothing. Don't overuse sexual desire. Don't turn it into a perversion. You know, sex is in love making is, is, is what it is, what God made it for, for husband and wife. Don't um, lie, deceit, deceive all those things. You know what the Ten Commandments are. Anyway, guys, I got to go and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.